important was the friendship you had during your time of hardship, your day ones? Did they continue to be your day ones? Did you see some flakiness? What'd you no, see? I, I, I lost any close relationship that I had, I lost. Um, mm. Every single one of them. Um, when you don't, I mean, when you take out your parents <laughs> and, yeah. and your sisters, mm -hmm. um, every other close relationship that I had in my entire life, um, God removed. And, and I saw, I actually saw a meme today that we should not only rejoice when God brings great people into our lives, we should rejoice when he removes the people from our lives that don't need to be in the next season of our lives. And so yes. um, <clears throat> it was tough for me because these were people um, that I had grown to, to, to be my friends. These are my mm -hmm. brothers, my sisters. And, mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, God needed to remove me from them. And the trial did a lot of that. You know, a lot of these people that I call friends, they got up there and testified against me. So instead of being mad at me, I was just done with them, you know? Right. And so um, one of my prayers while I was in prison was just God restore a friendship with me with new people, bring new relationships. Uh, me and my wife, we pray for new couples to come into our mm -hmm. lives, not just couples yes. that we can kick it with, but those that we can learn from. And so he's that. just it's been amazing steering old 40 year married couples into our lives now that mm -hmm. we sit with go hang with they mm -hmm. laugh at us about the right stuff and what we what we are tripping about um and so this has just been on the other side of this experience um you know i've i, I learned to understand how to be a good friend i must show myself friendly i only had friends that wanted something from me you know mm -hmm. or I, I i got something from them mm -hmm. you know it was not friendship in the sense of a word that it is in, in a moral sense or a biblical sense or in a relational, a true relational sense. And so now I have more than acquaintances. I'm developing real friendships. So right. yeah, French, it was better for me to go through it alone. God yeah. knew that I didn't need to be clinging on to some somebody outside. Everybody was gone. All I had was him. And that's exactly what I needed. That was the prescription for my transformation. Mm. I love that because distractions could definitely become main attractions. Absolutely. And you wanted your main focus to be on God and he led you to the right people that you needed to be connected with. Sometimes Absolutely. we think these people are lifelong friends and pals. And at the end of the day, yeah. you learn that firsthand. So and just, let me say this, this is particularly about men. Um, we grow up, a lot of us, we're on teams, we gather with the guys in the neighborhood, we play mm -hmm. ball together, we play football, mm -hmm. we're part of this crew, this, these fellas, and God sometimes, or all the times, if he has a tremendous call on your life, he's going to call you to a season of aloneness, you're going to have to be alone with him. Say Joseph again. had to go into the pit. He had to. He had to get away from his brothers. He had to go into the pit because he needed a period of time away from his family so he can learn what he needed to learn, grow in character, integrity, grow in knowledge and wisdom so he can save his family. And so that is the same prescription. God is, he does things differently for different people, but you can see the evidence of him in all of our, our stories. That's right. I love it. I love it. It's a testimony for me. Amen mm -hmm. to that. Amen. Yes. So that's important to realize. A lot of people think, like I said, they're going to be with these friends for life. Reality check. Yes. Kwame's telling y'all right here, so listen up. 